It's the start of a new day for the Mitt Romney campaign, and after a long and contentious presidential primary, Romney has officially clinched the Republican nomination. He won the last delegates he needed in last night's primary in Texas. Joining us from Washington, D.C. is Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Leanne, good morning to you. Good morning, Terrell. CBS News estimates that Romney has the delegates he needs to clinch the GOP nomination, but he chose to spend the day campaigning in Colorado and Nevada, both swing states. What message is he sending? Terrell, even though Mitt Romney clinched the nomination tonight, and this is four months after the Republican primary officially began, after voters in Iowa went to the first caucus in January, after all but six states have voted, Romney clinched the 1,144 delegates needed to make him the presumptive nominee until the convention at the end of the summer. And, but nothing will tactically change as far as we're concerned with these campaigns. The Romney campaign will continue to talk about what they call our Obama's failed economic policies. And the Obama campaign also is going to talk about the economy, saying that uh, Mitt Romney's experience in the private sector puts him in, uh, in favor of profits over people and workers. And so really, moving forward, this is definitely a milestone for Mitt Romney, but the campaigns are going to continue to hit each other between Mitt Romney and Barack Obama. As we're already seeing right now, the Romney campaign put out a statement last night. It said, our party has come together with the goal of putting the failures of the last three and a half years behind us. Is that really true? Has the party coalesced behind Mitt Romney or does he still have more work to do? Oh, he has work to do, that's for sure. During the Republican primary, there are all sorts of sections of the Republican base that uh, gravitated toward respective candidates. Uh, Rick Santorum, he really uh, won the support of a lot of the very conservative voters, and so did Newt Gingrich. And many of those Tea Party supporters is who Mitt Romney is going to have to win over to get them out to vote. But Mitt Romney has a much larger task now as well, and that is also winning the support of the independent voters. So not only does he have to coalesce the party, but he also has to reach across those pe to those people who aren't necessarily in, uh, wavering in favor of Romney and who might still vote for Barack Obama. Speaking of supporters, Romney was at a Las Vegas fundraiser last night with Donald Trump. Trump renewing suggestions that the president was not born in the U.S. Does having Trump in Romney's corner help him or hurt him? I think it cuts both ways. Um, it helps Mitt Romney for a certain section of the Republican Party. But I will say the number of people who think that Barack Obama was not born in the United States is dwindling quickly, especially since uh, Hawaii keeps releasing Barack Obama's surf, uh, birth certificate over and over again. And so it's almost a non-issue. We know that Donald Trump likes to talk about himself and he likes to put himself in the center of attention and so that's when it becomes difficult for Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney throughout this campaign whenever the attention turned toward the birtherism issue, toward contraception, toward the so-called war on women, Mitt Romney always said let's talk about the economy. That's what he wants to talk about and that's what he wants to focus on. Mm -hmm. And so with Donald Trump talking about whether or not Barack Obama was born in the United States, I think with those people that Mitt Romney want, needs to attract, those independent voters, those people who are still hesitant and might still vote for Barack Obama, that is definitely not going to win them over. The Obama campaign jumped into this too and said that Mitt Romney should stand up against Donald Trump. Do you think we'll see an instance where Mitt Romney will condemn Trump? We will surely see. It's hard to tell. Tonight he was at a fundraiser in Las Vegas, Nevada, and Mitt Romney was speaking to business owners and people who came to see him. And he said, he said he wanted to add an amendment to the Constitution that would uh, make people, or that uh, people who were running for president or became president had to serve at least three years in the private sector. And he said that's in addition to the fact that uh, you have to be in, the Constitution already says that you have to be an, uh, a natural born citizen. And so that was very interesting that he brought that up in the presence of Trump on the same day that Trump is making this a, a major issue once again. So we'll see if Romney separates himself. Donald Trump has a lot of money. 
He has a lot of contacts, and those are things that could be very beneficial for Mitt Romney moving forward. We've still got a ways to go. Leanne Caldwell, political reporter for CBSNews.com. Leanne, thank you so much. Thank you, Terrell.